Welcome to Concepts in Chemistry. In this talk, we will discuss the properties of subatomic particles. There are many subatomic particles, but in chemistry, we're only interested in three subatomic particles. And these three subatomic particles are found in Bohr's atomic model. So let's review Bohr's atomic model. So as you can see, in Bohr's atomic model, you do have the electrons orbiting around the nucleus. Okay, so as you can see here, the dots, the red dots you see here represent electrons. The yellow dots represent protons, and the blue dots represent neutrons. So clearly, if you look at this model, you see that the nucleus, which is in the center of the atom, is where the protons and neutrons are located. And the nucleus only takes up a tiny portion of the atom. So the nucleus is so small compared to the rest of the atom. But if you look at the electrons, the electrons are orbiting around the nucleus. And although the electrons are so small, but they take up so much space because they orbit around the nucleus. So they spread apart because of repulsion between the electrons. So they really take up so much space around the nucleus. So let's now look at the properties of these three subatomic particles summarized in this table. So here we do have particle, approximate mass, relative charge, location in atom, symbol, amount of space they occupy in an atom. Okay. So the first particle here is a proton. So the proton has a mass. Remember, these masses are relative atomic mass, so compared to something. So the relative atomic mass of the proton is 1.00727658 AMU. But you see, it's a mouthful to say all these digits. So we normally simplify it by saying the mass of a proton, it's about one, okay? And again, the relative charge is plus one. This relative charge is, of course, the opposite of the electron because the protons and electrons attract each other. So yeah, the electron's charge is minus 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. But again, it's also a mouthful to only say all that. So for simplicity, we just say the charge of an electron is minus one and then that of a proton is plus one, since they attract each other, so. Okay, so the proton is located in a nucleus, and the symbol, we normally use lowercase p to represent a proton. And amount of space that occupy in an atom? A little bit, because remember, the nucleus takes up a little bit of space in the atom, and the protons are found in the nucleus. So again, the protons also take up a little bit of space in the atom. Now the neutron, the mass of a neutron is 1.0086650 AMU. Again, it's a mouthful to say all that. And AMU, again, is relative atomic mass unit, meaning compared to something. So for simplicity, we just say the mass of a neutron is about one. Okay. Neutrons have no charge, so we say they have a relative charge of zero. And location in atom, ne ne neutrons are found in the nucleus. A symbol, we normally use lowercase n to represent a neutron. And since the neutrons are found in the nucleus, they only take up a little bit of space. Okay. Now, the last particle is the electron. The mass of the electron is 0.0005458. As you can see, it's really small compared to the neutron and proton. And if you think about it, it makes sense that its mass is so small because during chemical reactions, electrons are either shared or transferred. So it makes so much sense that they are so tiny so that they can easily be transferred from one atom to another atom. So because of the small size of uh, an electron, sometimes we normally say its approximate mass is zero, so small that it can be ignored. But again, it doesn't mean it's zero, it's just that you don't want to write all this or say all these digits. Okay. And the charge of an electron is minus one. Remember, this is a relative charge. So. Yeah, so minus one. Okay. But the actual charge of an electron is minus 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. Okay. And this location in an atom, electrons orbit around the nucleus. So because they orbit around the nucleus, they really take so much space. Okay. Though they are tiny, but they orbit around the nucleus. And also because of the repulsion between electrons, rem recall they are negatively charged. So they always want to be away from each other to minimize this repulsion. So 
Yeah, so they occupy so much space around the nucleus. And we normally use the symbol lowercase e to represent an electron with a little dash on it. Okay, so e little dash to represent an electron. And the space they take up, yeah, a lot of space. Okay, so. Okay, now sometimes you'll, you might want to relate atomic mass units to grams. Okay, so this is a relationship you need to uh, remember. One atomic mass unit is equivalent to 1.6605 times 10 to the power minus, minus 24 grams. Okay. And this is actually derived from the mole concept. Okay, so that is it with subatomic particles.